might want to key in on because people are talking about Stuttering John as a substitute teacher again. He lied about it. We uncovered it. Shuli really, uh, with the photograph that he obtained, was able to back John into the corner and get John to all of a sudden admit all of these things he's lying about all the time. And it really, John is having a Chad Zumach moment now where he's lying about everything. He's piling lies on top of lies and it's getting kind of stupid. Like, okay, so the guy's just a compulsive liar all the time. Claims he's not, but he is. We get it, right? Yeah. What I want to key in on is John's health. It's not good. There are some serious problems going on. He started off his show on Monday with this. This shirt on, right? Yeah, I guess it is. I don't even know anymore. I borrowed this shirt from my brother-in-law when I was in Manhattan. Not feeling that well today. I Hold on a second. That's not called borrowing a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I you borrowed this from it. my brother-in-law. Now you're back in L.A. Yeah, you stole it. <laughs> and you can only borrow within state lines. <laughs> right. That's how that works. <laughs> Maybe a tri-state area in a pinch. Not feeling that well today. I fucking stayed in bed all day. I don't know. This has happened twice now. It happened on Saturday, and now it happened... Again today, I don't think I'm getting the proper sleep. School. I don't think that's what the problem is. <laughs> but it's really odd. I just like, I don't know. I think maybe I didn't take my Klonopin. If you don't take Klonopin, you start having like fucking seizures. Like and that's, well, you could have a seizure, but you start getting loopy. And I was feeling a little loopy. That's interesting because. On Saturday, John didn't put out a podcast, so we had to take advantage of not podcasting because he wasn't feeling well by putting out a tweet saying he's leaving the Dabbleverse, then taking all his videos down. <laughs> you know, he loves to play this thing. John, it's a rerun. We've seen that before. No one's buying it. It's it's stupid that you keep doing this. But it turns not this out. this shirt. <laughs> yeah, not this shirt. <laughs> he's got a new that's, shirt. That's true. He's never done this in this shirt. But it turns out he just wasn't feeling well. And that's interesting to me because on Sunday he came on the show. And, you know, again, talking about how he's not an alcoholic. He's like, I haven't drank any beers today, and I didn't drink any beers yesterday. It's like, well, you were bedridden. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I hope not. You know, you weren't feeling well. You were you were down. And then he says, well, I'm not getting enough sleep, or I didn't take my Klonopin. I think that's something to do with the heart issues, that he's, he's the one who's told us about this. Low bl- blood pressure. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, this is... Uh, not to to bring up Anthony again, but something that Anthony talked about where he was getting very lethargic hmm. before he did have uh, the major event that led to the quadruple bypass. So I'm worried about John here because yeah. it seems like similar <clears throat> symptoms are going on. He's going to start like brushing his hair back and it's just going to start coming out in chunks until yeah. he looks like Bill Murray and Kingpin. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. I'm falling apart. Not live, as funny, but live yes. on the internet. It's so bad. He's so tired now. It's so bad. He can't even muster up the energy to sue Vince. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still working on suing Vince. I would have done it today, but I was just like, I didn't even know I was going to do a show. So I was like, oh, man. You know, I don't know what it is. I just feel like I'm in twilight. Maybe I'm having a heart attack. Who the fuck knows? <laughs> One of those yeah. long weekend. <laughs> One of those long weekend heart attacks that people have. <laughs> Starts on a Thursday. By Monday, you're kind of done with it, but still going. So this is obviously already something we've talked about. The whole lawsuit. John's going to sue Vince because I say that Vince is muttering Jay. We'll address a little bit of that coming up. It's so stupid. Well, let me say this now. Just because John is saying, well, Vince is saying that he can sue me for saying that I have evidence that he's muttering Jay because muttering Jay reached out to John's employer. So there doesn't have to be any damages. He can sue me regardless. And then John came out and said, well, I think that Vince is muttering Jay. So I went, well, that's going to fuck things up because now Vince is going to have to sue you too. Well, John actually decided to take it a step further when he tweeted this out. He says, uh, if Vince, as everybody knows, is muttering Jay, thanks to Lady K and Shitwire, then Vince got me fired from my job. This has cost me 
emotional hardship and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Nobody should ever use, and he talks about his law practice again, because he betrays his clients. Now, I've never brought up his law practice. I've never brought up his last name. This seems like a lot more damaging and damning, if this really were something as damaging and damning, than anything that I've ever done. No, this does not count, Carl, because he is in a Twitter war with <laughs> this, the lawyer, and well, I don't know. I can't right. make sense of any of this crap anymore. <laughs> it's, it's gotten so stupid because That's we proved cool. that he didn't get fired because he's working as a substitute teacher for the L.A. Unified School District. Yeah. I can't wait till he just sues himself. Yeah. <laughs> he's just, just like, get it over with. Sue stuttering somebody. John versus stuttering yeah. John. <laughs> Sue somebody, please. We're waiting for it. So. Yes. Talking about his health, I think one of the issues here is that he's a very poor diet. He's not doing himself any favors with what he's consuming between Uh-oh. the beers and his new favorite breakfast, Ensure. <laughs> I don't know. I'm drinking these Ensures. I had two Ensures today. I'm trying to lose weight for the ladies. Ugh. Do you guys know what Ensure does? It's protein. It's a protein, yeah. protein drink. It's a ton of calories. It's for people who aren't able to eat right. because of illnesses they have. It's a meal replacement, not a meal additive. Right. <laughs> and he acts like that's he, he acts like it's slim fast. Yeah. It doesn't ensure anything. <laughs> yeah, it turns out. It's not sure you're gonna sure that I'm dying. <laughs> so he goes on to talk about this uh this insurer and how it's not working very well. Thank you for the two. Oh my good buddy, penis wrinkle. The truffle shuffle. Why do you continue to drink when your heart is clogged? Good question, Peter Rickle. It's not that it's cl- okay. You have to understand something. I just got all my blood work done. Everything's fine. I know what's going on. I know why I'm not feeling well. You do? Because I'm not eating. Okay. That's why. Essentially, those insurers, they work for my mom. But they don't work for me as well. You know, you drink one of those things, and it's like, okay. Your mom's in her 80s. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's who it sure is for. Yes. What I'm happened t- What happened to that one vegetable tray that he ate? <laughs> oh, it's still there. Yeah. <laughs> Molding. Yeah. Joey, do vegetables go bad? That's one of the best things ever. I'm drinking all this insure and taking all this uh, estrogen supplements that I <laughs> borrowed from my mother. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you drink one of those things, and it's like, okay, it just ain't working. And I really got to just, I don't know. I, I guess I got to just fucking eat? Exercise more. But if <laughs> I, if I, oh, my God. <laughs> That's what he says. He's not eating. Thank you, Tukey. Yeah, I'm just not eating, so I'm trying to do insurance instead. It's not working, so I guess I got to exercise more. Uh... This is extremely telling. Like, he's not, he just admit, like, he's not eating. He's in the alcoholic phase. Where he's even drinking his meals. Yes. Like, yeah. like everything's he, a beverage now. People that Holy are in shit. good shape eat more, actually. Right. You have this to eat right more now. to get into shape. Starving yourself and wasting away until you turn gray. He's and... not wasting away. <laughs> he's a he's a drunkorexic now. Drunkorexic. I know what he needs. What's that? He needs a good multivitamin. That'll that'll cure. <laughs> yeah, that'll, it worked for my mom. I don't know. I'm sure that'll do it. Oh, I need a good hike. Oil. <laughs> All right, so listen to how he ends this little uh, bit. I, I guess I gotta just fucking exercise more. But if, if I if I start walking outside, you guys will be taking pictures again. School. Yeah. No, he think, always has an excuse. I think we got the one picture we need. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> this fucking guy always has an excuse for why he can't exercise. Remember, it was just a week or two ago that he was at the gym every day. And now mm-hmm. it's only way he can exercise by walking, but paparazzi, so that's out the window. <laughs> All these fatzos, their answer to their problems is always, I have to walk. It's always the <laughs> right. like, least you could possibly do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Getting in shape. Yeah. Joey B, Chad, John. Yeah. They all just go, oh, I got to go for a walk. That's yeah. what the answer to all my problems. It's like a divorced woman getting her hair done. Like changing <laughs> yeah. her haircut. <laughs> yes. I'm a, I'm a few pounds overweight, but I got a Manny patty, so yeah. I'm ready to go <laughs> hit the clubs, see what happens. All right, so John thinks that uh, maybe it's the uh, insurer that's the problem. Maybe there's other things you can try. Oh, Nietzsche, there's three different seed oils in insurer. Bad diet. Yeah, well. I'm done. 
How about boost? I tried boost. <laughs> what a loser. You know, <laughs> what if the game out a bottle was different? You had two of those shakes <laughs> and then a sensible dinner. Activia. <laughs> hey, what about Walmart's great value meal replacement beverage? Yeah. Chocolate and hazelnut flavor. Yeah. Uh, I don't we like hazelnut. <laughs> I, is this guy talking to a doctor? Where is he getting this information? Dr. Michelob. <laughs> <laughs> because the craziest part is, is as he's talking about how he needs to lose weight and he's drinking Insure and he's trying boosts and all these different things. When the next day on Tuesday, he has Vince the lawyer on. And he's talking about his diet again. Elber Golagau, thanks for the five bucks. John is clearly under the influence of maggot-infested Tropicana. I did have Tropicana, OJ. How did you know? <laughs> I made three eggs, four slices of bacon, no bread, Vince, no bread. So three uh, eggs, egg whites or regular eggs? Regular eggs, because yeah, you know, I don't believe that... The, 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 if you could take out the yolk, you would eliminate like 70% of the calories. I mean, you got to stay below 1,000 calories with all your food intake if you're just going to drink 10 beers. A lot or, of you can, or you could do something crazy, cut down on the beer intake. Oh, well, you're crazy. <laughs> that was class today. So what John is not understanding here, obviously, is no bread, cutting out carbs. But I drank OJ. Yeah. That's all the sugar. That right. that's that's all the loaves of bread you need right there is drinking orange juice or drinking ten beers is like eating two loaves of bread. Right, it's like that, that's all too. carbs. It's all carbs and it's calories. It's good sugar, Carl. It's fruit. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's not. It's not. It's not a good replacement for bread no, no. if you're trying to lose weight. The bacon and the eggs. So he's eating these things that are high in calories, and he's like, I. Just can't lose weight. I don't know what it is. I cut out toast. What else can I do, Doc? I don't know. <laughs> Fucking starving. He's Shut up. Like four... <laughs> he's interweaving like four diets he's heard of. Yeah, right. It's like I... I'm, I'm keto <laughs> yeah. before eight fifteen. Then eight fifteen, I switch to vegetarian. Yeah. The only thing he's not doing is the uh, the fasting method, yeah. which I would recommend to him. So going back to Monday's episode, uh, someone explains to him. That like, hey, John, we're worried about your heart. You know, that's probably what these issues are. You, he's the one who brought it up. He had a you know, cardiologist appointment. He has some issues going on. He needs to get looked at. So John explains, it's guys, you're stupid. It's it's obviously not his heart. Old Craig. Thanks, for Keep drinking. That will help your heart. I'm not worried about my heart. I'm worried about my head. This whole thing could be an OCD anxiety attack. You ever think of that, the old Craig? OCD. Mm. Just it's amazing how he can just use that as an excuse for all of his problems in life. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah. It's a fibromyalgia of uh alcoholism. I'm surprised OCD. he didn't bring his kids up. Well, it's funny you say that because oh, I paused it. No. <laughs> that is what's coming up next. We were overdue. But it's crazy to me that all of a sudden he's talking about all these elements, he's tired, he's got these issues, and someone's like, Hey man, you should probably quit quit drinking or cut back on your drinking, you have all these heart issues. No, it's probably just on my head. I'm mm -hmm. sure I'm perfectly fine. The alcohol flushes the heart valves out. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yes, I've read that somewhere in a book. Mm -hmm. Thank God. All right. So then it, uh, this is interesting. John's Ready Whip Can. Thanks for the talks. You said you were visiting Lily last month, Lair. Supposed to be in February. It was. Okay. So John was supposed to visit with his daughter, Lily, in February. Let's find out what happened. It was, but then uh, I forget what she had. She had, well, first she had the flu and then she had something else that she had to do. I forget. So then, so then she said, uh, you know, April, or May. Anyway. Oh, Craig, them two bucks. <laughs> wow. It was one week of February that she couldn't do things. So first off, I love that he goes, I'm not sure why. Yeah. You know, it sounds like he got bl blown off. She had the flu or uh, contempt for her father. One <laughs> yeah. of those. <laughs> Better things to do. <laughs> and then I love the fact that it's like April or May, yeah. which is similar to that chick who blew him off a few years ago. She's like, I'm really busy this month. <laughs> What's your yeah. summer look like? You know? <laughs> but do why does he go off on Lily like he did Mike Buschetti? Because he got very upset with Mike Machete for blowing him off. I didn't see him do, devote two episodes in a row to Willie blowing him off for some reason. Do you think it was, it happened to be Super Bowl weekend? Lily wanted to spend time with dad? Oh, and yeah, because she didn't know. And he's just like, oh, I'm going to be an AC. Uh. Oh, yeah. 
So maybe, she maybe saw him, what he's doing, instead of spending the weekend with her. She's like, Dad, I was going to bring Coke. We could have hung out. You got to go hang out with Donna the dad and do Coke with her? We could have been doing Coke together. I mean, I, I'm driving six hours to get food anyway. I might as well stop by your place. <laughs> Obviously, we're joking. I'm concerned about John's relationship with his daughter. But we don't know anything. All we know is what John tells us on his show. So hopefully things are, are going well. It doesn't sound like they are. So John is being told that he is looking very foolish for lying all the time. And the substitute teacher thing is just the latest. And so John has to pretend that he's making up the lies for the children. Obviously, <laughs> it's not about him. Carl Eric Hansen, thanks for the uh, Swedish uh, Krona 200. Just to admit you were teaching John. This guy's from Sweden. He's involved in a double verse. It seems nothing you can say can be taken at face value. Everything is either a lie or an exaggeration. In the time where everything can be looked up, you just keep looking silly for lying. Um, first of all, Vince, and if I were, let's say I were teaching, I don't want to. Why would I want to? You know, I'm my. <laughs> Main <laughs> you know what he's making shit up when he actually starts stuttering and stammering. Yeah. <laughs> concern is protecting the kids. And that is my concern. Uh-huh. So that is why, like, this is not, you know, this is silly for the shit way to do. And protecting is... your paycheck has nothing to do with it. Vince, I'm going to be honest with you. And I know you shouldn't say that. That's what Tom Shiasano used to say. Yeah. I make quadruple doing this than I do. Whoa, 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 whoa. He was making yeah. six figures as a substitute teacher. He bragged about it for months. $106,000. But he makes quadruple podcasting, mm -hmm. which we can kind of figure out how much he makes podcasting because he bragged <laughs> about that $5,000 he made that one month. And he wouldn't shut up about it. Yeah. We should put him at 60000 So it's quadruple that. That would be a lot less than one hundred and six. Well, he's not a math substitute that, teacher. He is, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I do, if I were teaching. If I were teaching, you know, because there's no real long-term subs. All right. So I want you to pick up on something. I'm becoming a body language expert with this asshole. So he realized, he's like, oh, shit, I've been bragging about how much money I make substitute teaching. And I got this lawsuit where I say I'm losing <laughs> seven-figure lawsuit because I'm losing all this money for getting fired. So as soon as he goes, I make way more money podcasting, he thought that was a big bragging. He's like, oh, fuck, that fucks up a lot of other things I said. This is the problem with piling lies on lies, John. Like, it's very difficult to have a conversation with people. But watch how he starts scratching his face. When he realizes, oh shit, and says, oh, well, I'm, I, there's no more long term substitute teaching jobs. Yes, than I do if I were teaching. If I were teaching, you know, because there's no real long term subs. So, you know, <laughs> anymore, they've, they've kind of done away with that for the most part. Not like consciously, it's just there. So, you know, so you make a lot less. <laughs> so it really wouldn't be. It's, it, so even if I were doing it, it's. Financially, it's not really going to hurt me either way or not. So I kind of believe that to be the case because you can look up the pay the teachers make in California because they work for us or people of California mm -hmm. for that matter. And so you, somebody pulled this up. This was. Uh, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> uh, this is 2022. So this isn't last year. He made $16,000 teaching. <laughs> I mean, this is this is not impressive. So, could he make quadruple that podcasting? I hope. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, Carl, I'm so disappointed in California. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> no, that they would have a website listing the amounts of money all the pe all the parents of trans kids make. <laughs> yeah, right. It's horrendous. <laughs> How dare they? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Besides, everyone knows John made all his money in Uber. Yeah, that's correct. Yes. So, all right. That's uh, very embarrassing for him. And he needs to stop making up lies because he's not good at it. And so now he's trying to say, because Shuli showed the photo of him teaching. And so it's out there that he's back to substitute teaching again. Now he's jumping to a conclusion that Shuli and I get pulled in on this too are trying to get him fired from his job, which is, of course, not the case. Given what the clowns at WATP and Shuley have done in the past, I wouldn't tell them anything either. Never mess with a man's job. I agree. Like Carl says, Lady K says it's an act of violence, unless it's concerning me, then he doesn't care. Both Shuley and I have said many times not to fuck with you in real life. 
not to contact the school district, that it's not fun to ruin someone's life and get their gigs canceled. There's no comedy in that. There's no entertainment value in that. We say it over and over again. John actively reaches out to my patron, tries to get me shut down, brags about having a meeting with patron on the air, and I'm going to be upset <laughs> because of terms of service and try to threaten me with all this shit. Very, very different than us pointing out that John's a liar. A liar, liar, pants on fire. Yeah. Very different. But in John and Kevin Brennan, there's the same thing where he's like, oh, Carl, it's a show on at four o'clock. Act of violence. No, no, no. There's a very big difference in trying to get my Patreon shut down, which we make significant money on, and pointing out that you're a liar about teaching children at school. And thankfully, Vince calls him out on this. John, if you te- hypocrite. John, if you are teaching or not, we don't care. Yes. Do you, bo- do you, do you, brother? Right. So you're great with kids. These guys are crossing the line. Thanks, RP. Thank you very much. Well, then that brings up the point. You did contact RP, RP. If I ever see you if ever in my town. In my city, you come out, and the beers are on me. Go ahead, Vince. <laughs> That's another funny thing. Whenever someone gets them 100 bucks, so for 10 bucks you get a trumpet. For 100 bucks you get promised, if he's ever in the same town as you, beers mm-hmm. on him. I wonder if he'll even sign the Stuttering John action figure in RP's avatar. I hope yeah. so. <laughs> that action figure is in a lot better shape than the actual guy. I just love the idea that he thinks that everyone's pining to have a couple pints with mm-hmm. stuttering John Melendez. I can't think of a worse afternoon. Yeah. Chad Chad does the same thing when he gets a big super chat. He's like, oh, dude, tell me your size and I'll send you a T-shirt. Well, at least a T-shirt is something that someone would wear. John just assumes just everyone spends... <laughs> everyone, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's a good point. He's trying to steal your identity. You better have a P.O. box. <laughs> I just need your social security number and I'll send you a shirt. Like, what? But they feel guilty. They get these high super chats and they're like, uh-oh. I didn't do anything to deserve that. I have to <laughs> yeah. throw in a little extra now. <laughs> but you know, as well as I do, Tuki, that John's also looking for friends. Of course. That's yes. what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Oh, it's must have them. This, this is like this is like the My Little Pony yeah. verse. Is what this is turning into. <laughs> all pussies. All the men in this universe are pussies. <laughs> if My you friend. did contact Patreon and Carl was on Patreon, you did attempt to eliminate a source of his income. Yes, very good, Vince. Thank you for bringing that up. Because that's very different going after my source of income directly, very different than us pointing out that you're lying and that you are a substitute teacher, even though they say that you're not a substitute teacher. So then John has to, once again, go back to this lie. I'll call it the great lie, because this is what John is turning this into now. The great lie that we posted his book on Patreon. I never did that. John is lying about it because it keeps changing how many people saw that I posted it there, the (laughs) proof that he has, everything keeps changing. And I'll say this. Even if I did, it would equate to zero dollars lost for Stuttering John. There's no overlap between actual Stuttering John fans and WATP fans. Yeah. Th- that <laughs> Venn diagram does not overlap at all. So it wouldn't matter. It would be like, I was going to buy the book, but Carl's Patreon gave it to me for free. He's a fucking idiot, but this is him. Uh, performative John now. All right, take it away, John. Let's see your performance. Uh, how upset you are with me. Okay, here we go again, man. He had an MP3 in my book. I don't give a fuck if you don't believe it. My publisher saw it. I saw it. My friend saw it. And Audible saw it. We all it saw. It saw it. It saw. There's no R. S-A-W. And I wouldn't point that out, but he talks about the way I talk all the fucking time. But saw it, saw it, saw it. It's like a also, retard. He's also talking about all these people seeing an audio book. <laughs> right, yes. <laughs> Nobody heard the audio book. Well, that's a good point because I remember when he showed the link to Vinny Paulino and he goes, here's the proof right here. And it was literally labeled our fifth episode mm-hmm. that we were talking about <laughs> his book, Don MP3. And Vinny goes, well, that's probably the name of the episode they put out. Nope, you're wrong. So when he says other people saw it, is he sending out the same proof that he showed to Vinny Paulino because he's that stupid? Yeah. Maybe, maybe not even that. If you don't believe it, my publisher saw it, I saw it, my friend saw it, and Audible saw it. We all clicked Audible. on it. We all could you? We all clicked on it. Now everyone's <laughs> clicking on it too. Audible is clicking on it. They don't give a yeah. fuck about you. 
<laughs> saw it. Patreon so saw it. He's taking money away from me. That is not allowed, Vince. You can't take a source of income away from me. Now, there's something called cause and action. <laughs> what? Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> You're trying to quote Carl. I like when Carl said it. I don't remember exactly what he what there's he said, but yeah. Cause and effect, I meant. And yeah. action and reaction. <laughs> I mix up the two. Doesn't matter. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> You are out of roll there for a second, John. <laughs> Cause and action. I think if he really wants to make his point, he should be talking about the numbers that he was making on that book yeah. before you allegedly released Good it. Good point. No one's advertised his book more than I have. Yeah. If anything, I've seen people post photos of them where they find his book in bookstores and they, they post photos on social media like, hey, look what I found. <laughs> they wouldn't have bought this fucking book if I had been promoting the yeah. shit out of it. <laughs> look what I found past three years. in a dumpster behind a library. <laughs> right. I'm not saying all of them were purchased, but you get the point. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, this is a fun little super chat that comes in. I thought dudes from New York hate rats. John is the biggest rat I've ever seen, always calling cops, lawyers, and docs people. Uh, I told you that this morning. I don't think you should rat out that kid that took the picture. Oh, well, I, I don't. I mean, I'm just saying that could happen. That if someone sends this picture into them. Super chat. <laughs> so that's another thing where John says, Shuli, don't show the photo of me teaching. Because if you do, you're not allowed to take photos in class. And we'll find out. We'll triangulate. Who is sitting in what seat? <laughs> and they've to got take detention. That photo. Yeah. And then we we'll get the kid in trouble. And he even says the other kid who took a photo of him, they had to take their Twitter account down because they got in trouble. So John's getting these kids in trouble <laughs> for taking photos of him, according to John, which is a lie because everything's a lie that he says. So it's all stupid. But he's trying to get Shuey to feel bad. How many staff meetings has John caused? Oh, the role, you in, the, the role in the TV. Okay. <laughs> Listen up, teachers. But speaking of a rat. Look at what John just posted, uh, I think today. Dear at YouTube, at Team YouTube, at YouTube creators, this show is asking people to try and get me fired. If this is not bullying and cyber harassment, I don't know what is. So John is trying to tattletale once again on Shuli to try to get whatever Shuli's channel taken down. No, no one's trying to get you fired, John. We're just pointing out that you're a liar. Stop lying. Just say, yeah, I'm going back to substitute. If he would have came on the air, remember he came back to his 11 a.m. time slot mm -hmm. after AC, and then he goes, ah, I'm not getting as many super chats. I'm going to go back to 3.30. He could have just said, guys, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm picking up some substitute teaching jobs again, so I'm happy to help the kids. They need me, and so I'm going to start doing 3.30. Would people have made fun of that? I, I can't yeah. even imagine. A little bit, <laughs> a little yeah. bit because he suddenly got fired, but it's slightly more noble. But if he had never lied about getting fired in the first place, because he didn't, he didn't get fired in the first place, obviously. Mm -hmm. And so this would have been fine. No one would have had a problem with this because he keeps fucking lying. So uh, YouTube's it, response. <laughs> but also, if, if he just said it, nobody would be hunting for the evidence. Correct. Rapidly. Yes. Yeah, we, we wouldn't be looking for photos to come out. So YouTube responds, if you've already reported the video through our official reporting tool, our team has received it and is either in the process of reviewing the content or has already completed the review. Yes. Karen. All right, Karen. Yeah, you've already <laughs> spoken to the manager. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. But it's, it's funny how many people have shown evidence. Like, this is just from a forum somewhere that showed up. More of a personality than a star, but my kid had stuttering John of Howard Stern fame as a substitute teacher in his math class last week. Like, this is going to show up all over the place, John. Even people who aren't in the dabble verse, when you're telling the students you're stuttering John and Howard Stern, they're going to go home and tell their parents. Their parents are going to tweet about it, write about it on Reddit. He's so stupid. Audra's Molly reply, from the original Annie. I don't know Let's who go that bully is. Her. <laughs> yeah. Let's go bully her. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Oh, I, by the way, I just pulled the screenshot as I was editing John today. He looks like a cartoon monster. <laughs> yeah. He looks like the Grinch. Yeah. He's like, hey. Yeah. A little Gargamel going on. Thought up a lie and he thought it up quick. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. He's got a plan, that's for sure. <laughs> They'll rue the day. <laughs> they crossed one stuttering Edward Melendez. All right. And this is one more clip that I have because. Again, John is claiming that he's suing Vince for being muttering Jay, but it doesn't help his lawsuit if he also admits he doesn't think that Vince is muttering Jay. Baby Yaga! You're friends with MJ. You compliment him. 
not friends with Muttering Jay. Some of his, I don't even know who Muttering Jay is. Do I think he's a great reporter? Yes. I thought you knew that it was Vince the lawyer, John. Remember? We got to keep our facts straight here. If we're going to win this lawsuit, you're killing me. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting very bad at this. <laughs> I've noticed. It's what do you guys stupid. take on on uh, what's going on with John? Because I, I said it on the last episode we did. I'll say it again. He's starting to take the Chad Zumach route where I'm just kind of going like, all right, this is just getting stupid now because he's just lying about everything all the time. So nothing that he says is interesting anymore. Yeah, it's a, it's 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 a lot of that now. I'm I'm glad the live show Saturday, March the ninth at CarlsonComedy.com couldn't have come at a better time because it'll give me a distraction from him for a week. But I know in a week's time, I'm gonna be right back in. Oh yeah, he's gonna I... do something that's gonna pull me right back. <laughs> well, we got in. Point Devil Point coming up on this channel on Friday at four o'clock. So tune in for that. We'll be talking about the week in Saturday down. It's a, another interesting week. He got busted. He's threatening people's families now. He's really going after Shuli's wife and his family. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's that part of it's interesting. I just if... find most of his show so boring and mundane now. If you think you're gonna get a break from stuttering John at the March 9th live event. Oh, yeah. You might be disappointed <laughs> right. by the All Apologies package. Yeah. <laughs> all Apologies. Hosted by Andy Q. Public and Joe Sixpack. I'll be on the show as well. We'll be uh, very stuttering John heavy. Who are these podcasts? W-A-T-E.